doesn't the cannon fire? What? What's happening here? It's... it's my grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. What's that? That vibration? Wait, someone is coming. You... you haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. The Space Colony Ark is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Ark will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive, <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep to the keep prototype the from, falling from falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to be based on my original projections. I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him, if you wish. Release and awaken it if to the world! If you wish to fill the world with destruction... Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. 
If the colony collides with her, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather pretty. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony composition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! My name is Amy Rose. I'm cute and full of energy. Something horrible is happening. Professor Gerald activated this program a long time ago. Activating that program has caused the space colony to fall out of its orbit. Now it's on a crash course with the Earth. Looks like Eggman has a trick shattered. He's such an evil doctor. I want to yell at him, but first, we need to stop the space colony from falling. We decided to team up and go to the colony's core to stop the power of the Chaos Emerald. We don't have much time left. Hang on, everybody. Let's do it. System alert. System alert. The intruder has reached the one area. Initiation the program. Go!
It's cool!